Konnichiwa, Rose des. Welcome back. In this video, we will learn new Japanese grammar based from the Mina no Nihongo textbook, lesson 22. Here, we will learn how to modify nouns using a sentence or a phrase with verbs. Sore dewa, hajime masho. Here are the grammar points that we would learn in this lesson. First, let's review how to modify nouns using adjectives and other nouns, which we've learned in Lesson 2 and Lesson 8. In Lesson 2, we've learned how to modify nouns using another noun, such as Yuki's bag. So here we're describing bag as Yuki's. Yuki's bag. Yuki no kaban. Yuki no kaban. If the modifier is a noun, we follow that by no. In lesson 8, we've learned how to use na adjectives such as nice bag, steki na kaban. So, for na adjectives, we use na after the adjective followed by the noun. We've also learned how to use e adjectives. For example, old bag, furui. Kaban. So as you can see, the modifier comes before the noun it is modifying. Aside from modifying nouns with adjectives or another noun, we can also describe it using a sentence or a phrase with verbs. A modifying sentence should be in plain form and they come before the noun it modifies. For example, a person who eats meat. So our noun is person and we're describing it as Someone who eats meat. Again, the modifying sentence should be in plain form and it comes before the noun. Who eats meat is Niku wo taberu. And then our noun, Hito. Niku wo taberu hito. A person who doesn't eat meat. Niku wo tabenai hito. A person who ate meat. Niku wo tabeta hito. A person who didn't eat meat. Niku wo tabenakatta hito. So if you want to review how to change mass form to plain form, just go back to lesson 20 where we discuss plain forms of verbs. For example, there is a question like, which one or which person is Miss Johnson or Johnson-san wa dono hito desu ka? The person wearing a red coat. So our modifying sentence is wearing a red coat. So if you check out our vocabulary list, you'll know that there are different ways to say to wear something. So here, wearing a red coat, we use the verb kimas. So wearing a red coat is Akai koto wo kiteiru hito Akai koto wo kiteiru hito The person wearing a hat For things that we wear on our head we use the verb kaburimas So wearing a hat is boshi wo kabutte iru hito Boshi wo kabutte iru hito. The person reading a book. Reading a book is Hon wo yonde iru hito. Hon wo yonde iru hito. The person next to Miss Kimura. So our modifying sentence is next to Miss Kimura, which is Kimura-san no tonari ni iru hito. Kimura-san no tonari ni iru hito. Okay, so we've already learned how to modify nouns using noun and adjectives, but let me just give you more examples. So here we want to answer the question, what kind of person is Miss Johnson or Johnson-san wa donna hito desu ka? 
For example, a cheerful and nice person. So here we are using adjectives, which are cheerful and nice. Akarukute i. Akarukute. So cheerful and nice, which is i. Akarukute i hito. Another example, a beautiful and famous person. These are na adjectives. So we say, kire de. So beautiful and famous. Yume na hito. Kire de yume na hito. Next is using a noun. A 90 year old person. Kyuju sai no hito. Kyuju sai no hito. Another example of using a noun, an English teacher. So here we're describing the teacher and we're saying that he or she is an English teacher. So we say, Ego no sensei. Ego no sensei. Next is, from a normal sentence, we can pick out any nouns from that sentence and modify it using the information that we have. For example, in the sentence, I borrowed a book from the library. So here we have the noun, a book, and we want to describe it. So what kind of book is it? So first in Japanese, we say, Watashi wa toshokan kara hon wo karimashita. So this is, I borrowed a book from the library. So next, we want to pick out the noun book and describe it based from the information. So what kind of book is it? A book that I borrowed from the library. So here we have the noun and the blue one is the modifier. Again, the modifier should always come before the noun. Watashi ga toshokan kara karita. So this is our modifier. And the noun we're modifying is hon. Watashi ga toshokan kara karita hon. As you've noticed, we didn't put the particle o. So right now, this is just a normal modified noun. And we don't know how we're going to use it in a sentence. So... As of now, we don't have any particle. Another example in the sentence, My father works in a restaurant. Chichi wa restaurant de hataraite So from this sentence, we're going to pick out the noun restaurant and describe it based from the information. So what kind of restaurant is it? The restaurant or a restaurant where my father works. Which is, Chichi ga hataraite iru. Again, in plain form. Chichi ga hataraite iru. Restauran. Again, here we didn't put the particle de. So this is just a normal modified noun as of now. Chichi ga hataraite iru restaurant. One more example. I'll give it to someone. Watashi wa dareka ni agemasu. From this sentence, we'll pick out someone as our noun and we'll modify it. The person or that someone whom I'll give it to. Watashi ga Ageru hito. Watashi ga ageru hito. Again, the particle ni is not necessary. So we can use modified nouns just like how we would use a normal noun. So we can use it as a topic, as a predicate, or the object of the verb in a sentence. For example, the person wearing a red coat is Miss Johnson. In this example, we are using the modified noun as our topic or the topic of the sentence. 
So again, the modifier comes first, which is wearing a red coat. 赤いコートを着ている人は to our topic marker, followed by Johnson さんです。赤いコートを着いている人は Johnson さんです。Another example, Miss Johnson is the person wearing a red coat. Now, we use the modified noun as the predicate of the sentence. Johnson さんは赤いコートを着ている人です。Johnson さんは赤いコートを着ている人です。Next example, I lost the book that I borrowed from the library. So here we are going to use the modified noun as the object of the verb, which is to lose something. 私は私が図書館から借りた本 So here we have the modified noun. The book that I borrowed from the library. Since this is the object of the verb, we're going to use the particle o. And then our verb, loss, which is なくしました私が図書館から借りた本をなくしました。Do you know someone born in the year 2000? あなたは someone born in the year 2000? So modifier first. 2000年に生まれた人 or someone, person. 2000年に生まれた人 Do you know? を知ってますかあなたは2000年に生まれた人を知ってますか Next is using the modified nouns in a question. For example, who is the person next to Miss Kimura? So, our modified noun is the person next to Miss Kimura, which is Kimura san no tonari ni iru hito wa who dare desu ka? Kimura san no tonari ni iru hito wa dare desu ka? Where is the apartment that you lived in? So, our modified noun is the apartment that you lived in, which is あなたが住んでいたあなたが住んでいたアパートはどこ where ですかあなたが住んでいたアパートはどこですか ?Which one is the car that you like? 好きな車が、which one? どれですか好きな車がどれですか ?How was the movie that you watched yesterday? 昨日見た映画は、how was? どうでしたか昨日見た映画はどうでしたか So next is if the modifying sentence has a subject or we can say the doer of the action, that subject is marked with the particle ga. So you've already seen a couple of examples with this, such as I borrowed a book from the library. 私は図書館から本を借りました。So if you remember the previous example wherein we pick out the book and describe it, I lost the book that I borrowed from the library. So the modifying sentence that I borrowed, the subject is I. So it becomes 私が
Toshokang kara karita. So the doer of the action is marked with particle ga, which is you. Watashi ga. Borrowed by me. Watashi ga toshokang kara karita hon o nakoshimashita. Another example, my father works in a restaurant. Chichi wa restaurant de hataraite For example, we want to say, I'll go to the restaurant. So we are modifying or describing the restaurant as where my father works, which is chichi ga, so my father. Chichi ga hataraite iru. So the subject is marked with particle ga. Hataraite iru. Restaurant e ikimas. Chichi ga hataraite iru restaurant e ikimas. Another example. You were born in a hospital. Anata wa byoin de umaremashita. For example, we want to say, Do you know the hospital? And we're describing it as where you were born. So the modifying sentence contains the subject you, which is Anata ga umareta byoin o shitemasu ka? Anata ga umareta byoin o shitemasu ka? And lastly, modifying the words jikan, meaning time, yakusoku, meaning appointment or arrangement, and yotei, meaning plan or errand or things to do. Using the verb in dictionary form followed by jikan, yakusoku, or yotei. So this pattern describes what kind of time, appointment, and things to do. For example, there is no time to practice the speech. So here, our noun is time, and we're modifying it and describing it as the time to practice the speech, which is speechio renshu suru, again in plain form or dictionary form, followed by noun jikan. Speechio renshu suru jikan ga. There is no, which is arimasen. Speech yo renshu suru jikan ga arimasen. Another example. I remembered the promise to have dinner with my wife later. So our noun is promise or appointment, which is yakusoku. So we're describing it as the promise to have dinner with my wife later. Ato de later. Tsumato. With my wife, shokuji suru, to have dinner or to have a meal. Yakusoku, promise or appointment. Ato de tsumato shokuji suru yakusoku. And our verb is, I remembered, which is, o omoidashimashita. And last example, don't forget your plan to go to the dentist. So here we're describing the word yote or your plan. So it's the plan to go to the dentist. Haisha ni iku yote. So the plan to go to the dentist. O wasurenai de. Don't forget. Haisha ni iku yote o wasurenai de. We've learned how to modify nouns using verbs, e adjectives, na adjectives, and nouns. For example, niko taberu hito. Akai koto kiteiru hito. Yasashiku te. I hito. Kire de yume na hito. Kyuju sai no hito. We've also learned how to use the modified nouns in different ways in a sentence, such as Niko 
食べないと知ってますか赤いコートを着ている人はジョンソンさんです。優しくていい人が好きです。彼女は綺麗で有名な人です。履いている靴が好きです。We've also learned that we mark the subject in a modifying sentence with particle が, such as, 私が図書館から借りた本、父が働いているレストラン、あなたが生まれた病院。We've also learned how to describe nouns such as time, appointment, and plan, which are 時間、約束 and 予定。For example, スピーチを練習する時間があります。妻と食事する約束があります。歯医者に行く予定があります。今何を着てますか。どんなうちが好きですか。どんな仕事をしたいですか。何の用事がありますか。Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. If you have any questions or clarifications, please make sure to write them down in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!